I'm Haley. And I'm Christian. And we are a very much in love couple <laughs> who happens to be at the moment going down to Iowa to visit my sister and her husband. To get some relationship advice. No, I'm just uh, well, not really. Not well, really. well, kind of. That and <clears throat> we're going to do a double date. Okay, they don't need to know. Well, it's just Iowa, just to get away. But we are recording now. Just because who doesn't like car videos? That's right. So pretty much on my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, I will put it in below. But um, I asked like some of my followers like what questions that like we should talk about, and what I should ask, what we should ask each other, and what they, whatever. So <laughs> so I have some questions that we are going to answer. That'd be a fun thing to do while we were driving to Iowa. Because if you guys haven't been to Iowa before, it is kind of a long drive. All right, so we'll just get right into it. Just jump in. Ah. Never mind. Okay. All right, we're just gonna turn up our beeves just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Question number one. What is your favorite memory of dating me? Hmm. That is a good one. Oh, okay. Hmm. My favorite You have to start out with the hard ones? Oh, right. Okay, my favorite memory is when we went to Duluth together and we went to Bentleyville. Personally, that was my favorite because we were just, we're just childish. So it was just, we were just having fun with nothing, you know? Yeah, no, I get what you mean. Okay. It was just like, we would just like be goofy and whatever. It was fun. And again, it's just something to like get away for. And Bentleyville is very pretty. So if you haven't been there before, I highly suggest it. What is your favorite memory? Mm. Just name one. Name just one. one. Um, when you ask me, oh, you, you know, like anything. <laughs> okay, my favorite memory is probably, yeah, probably Valentine's Day. And you had a very successful Yes, and so she threw me totally like for a loop, telling me I had, she had this big box or something. Or, and it was just a big box. So I was suggesting that she was supposed saying, to be like a huge gift that I said I was going to have right. ready for him when he she's gets home from she's work. She's supposed to assemble it and all this stuff. So I thought I thought I was going to walk into like a an eagle sculpture. Is what that's what I was thinking. Seriously. <laughs> and if you guys don't know this, he really loves eagles. I'm a big eagle fan. Not like the team. Top of the food chain. But then instead, I filled up his room with balloons, mm -hmm. with our photo, like our pictures tied to the balloons, and rose petals all over the place, and presents, and candy, and a GoPro, exactly. which we are currently on. That is right. And then for Valentine's Day for me, he got me a, a ring, and it's not an engagement ring. It just doesn't fit on this hand yet. So um, he got me a ring, a Pandora bracelet, which is also on. It's got some fur on it. A Pandora bracelet, if you're not familiar with it. It's a bracelet and it has charms. It's very hard to get because the charms are very expensive. But, you know, it's fine. We're building it. We're getting it. Um, and then you took me out for dinner. What else did you get me? Huh? What else did you get me? Uh, I got you a little turtle. A turtle thing because I love turtles. Yes. He likes eagles. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Um, Fluff beautiful flowers and then he did a spa day for me yes where I got my nails done my toes and a facial yes. so yeah that's probably that would be my probably second favorite memory yeah well I don't know maybe first would be asking I don't know okay okay how did we first meet okay um, how we first met is we both went to Blaine High School together. He's a year older than me. We never met in Blaine because, let's just say, he was on the tennis team and I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most athletic sport on this planet. Okay, okay no one likes tennis. Anyways, <laughs> but um, that we were just two different worlds in high school. Never really met in high school, whatever. And then, like, probably how many years after you graduated and I graduated? Mm, it's three for me. So, two years after I graduated. 
Wait, no, two years for you. Two for me, yeah. Two when after we, he graduated. When we first met, yeah, yeah, that's right. Two years after he graduated, three years after I graduated, I got me and my friend got invited to this party, but not but by the person that threw the party. That I was throwing. Sure, that he was throwing. Me and Cassie were throwing it. Cassie is his brother. So him and his brother threw a party at a hotel, and their mutual, our mutual friends invited me, so he never invited me. His friends invited me. And so my girlfriend was like, you know, let's go to this party. I wasn't really down to go because at the time I was actually talking to someone. So I'm like, there's no point in me going to a party if A, he's not going to be there, whatever. So she talked me into it, went to this party, met him. We introduced each other to each other. Like, I didn't even know, like, he went to Blaine. I asked if he went to Blaine. He said, yeah, crazy world, whatever. Um didn't speak to me the whole time we were at the party <laughs> in my defense i thought she was very 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 gorgeous and i wasn't so much okay and i wasn't in high school i wasn't you know he was kind I of wasn't a, a ladies man you know so <laughs> he was just he was yeah, a little, I was little nervous. nervous yeah so he didn't speak to me that whole night and then and then whatever so i had fun at the party talking to people whatever and then when it was time to go i was saying goodbye to the everybody because you know and I said goodbye to him, we said goodbye, whatever, and I was going downstairs to the parking lot to go to my car, and as I was going to my car, I hear some big footsteps behind me, and I turn around, and he's running to try to get my snap mm -hmm. But again, at the time, I had a thing with somebody, so, I mean, I gave him my snap, but, like, we didn't, like, talk very much or anything, because he respected the fact that I was talking to somebody. And, long story short, that relationship didn't work very well, and when I was single, he slid up to my Snapchat, we started talking, we spent most of our last summer together, and yeah. Yes, and the rest is history, we'll probably put that in another video, how we met and stuff. Okay, next question. <laughs> okay, what do you think we need to work on most in our relationship? You can answer and then like I'll answer. What do I think we need to work on? Yep. Okay. I got one. You go. Well, okay, on my side. Um So kinda like what we were saying is we kinda grew up on like we kinda grew up different worlds. You never really said that. Yeah. Well, that was high school, so at, even like us, is like, di like, even like, we just, we're very different. We grew up very differently. We're gone. Yes. Well, she has a lot of relationship experience, and I do not at all. <laughs> Close hand in the box. <laughs> She's very experimental with the minigun. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But no, I am more experienced. You've had long relationships, I have, and I, yeah. my longest was six, uh, a month and a half, really. And, and we're on four, I've, if anybody was curious, today. That's right, yeah. Well, AK like seven, but he, was, he didn't want to ask me yet, so whatever. Took him a while. <laughs> whatever. Anyways. Um, so, um, I don't, whenever we get into fights, I am Which not, doesn't happen very often. It doesn't happen very often at all. But everybody fights. That's right. It's. I mean, if you don't fight, not saying it's not like healthy if you don't fight, but obviously, like, you had disagreements, which happen. In relationships. I don't. I'm a little immature to fights. I would say. I'm not. I don't always say the right things or do the right things at the right moments or the right times, which can like heighten. The anger, or <laughs> you know, so pretty so. much what she's trying to say is he d he doesn't know this whole relationship thing because obviously he hasn't been in a real relationship really. So like I was his first like actual like love everything everything. Yeah. So like I I'm not saying he's not my first love, but he he's definitely I've had relationships from the past, so I know how to like deal with it. But if we do get in arguments and stuff, and where he is now almost 22 and this is finally his first like real like whatever so he yeah he does struggle that's something we do struggle with. i would kind of 
say the same like it's just when like we don't argue very often but I feel like when we do we hype it up more than it should be because of how we act to, towards each other because he doesn't really know and then it kind of makes me upset because I want him to know how but I need to understand that he's not like me and I've had experiment in <laughs> I've had like ex He's had some experience <laughs> experience and he obviously hasn't. Which is fine, because it happens. It's better that way. I like it better that way. Yeah. Question four. We're spending a lot of time on these questions. How long do you think people should wait before having kids or slash us? Like that, that's totally fine. 